Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be using these teal colors to create a super dramatic kind of a look yet again. So as always, I'm starting out by mixing my P. Louise base, but today I decided to mix it with a thicker concealer from Inglot. It is the All Covered Concealer and it is quite full coverage. So I don't know, I haven't mixed them before and I really, really like them mixed together today for my base. So I apply that all over the entire lid up to the brown. I carved my brows with it and then I just blended that in with my beauty blender. So just as always doing the same thing. I really, really like applying my eyeshadow base this way. I think it gives a really nice and even coverage and it just makes the base nice and smooth. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So the first color I'm gonna take is the darkest teal that I have and I'll have all the numbers listed down below of all the eyeshadows I'm using. And I'm basically going in with a small tapered kind of blending brush. It's the 10S from Inglot, but unfortunately Inglot Ireland have actually discontinued the brush. So if you're abroad and, or if there's still a couple of brushes left, get this kind of brush because, oh my goodness, it is my favorite brush for detail work. It is the perfect size for the crease for really kind of small minute details like this and making this look is quite easy. So what I did with the brush, I essentially kind of created a little whale. It kind of looks like a side profile of a whale and I'm basically doing that on the other eye. So I'm going into my crease, but I'm going high enough so when my eyes are open, I can still see the color. And I'm really nicely kind of snuggly bringing that around the crease and then I'm winging that out. Then I just took a slightly lighter teal color and I'm blending out the edges very, very softly with this just so my next color has something really, really nice to blend into because the darker teal is quite dark. So I just need that kind of middle color to bridge the two colors together. So I'm just really, really lightly the same type of brush and I'm brushing that through my crease, just a little bit of bum, kind of putting it on half on my skin, half on the eyeshadow to achieve that really smooth blend. So the next color I'm taking is actually a shimmery trio. And I know people are like, don't put shimmer in the crease, but I actually really like this kind of color in the crease, especially in the teal. It just has a little bit of shine. And I don't know, I just really, really like this eyeshadow. There's a couple other ones from Inglot that I really like in the crease for cranberries. It's just perfect and I might actually do a cranberry kind of look with the other one um, but yeah so I'm just blending that in through the crease I'm kind of alternating between the darker and the lighter colors just to get that perfect smooth blend now to carve my crease I'm using Duraline first before I go in with my concealer because I just don't want the concealer to mix in with the eyeshadow because it can be a muddy mess so I'm taking Duraline on a flat concealer brush and I'm really really carefully um, kind of removing everything. So every time I remove a little bit, I wipe it on a tissue, get more Duraline, go back into the eye, wipe on a tissue, and so on and so on. This is quite tedious, so take your time with this. Same as this part, I just used the Inglot concealer on its own just to carve out the eye. Um, I didn't really go, you know, too crazy with it because with this part, if you mess up, that's it. <laughs> So you have to be super, super careful with you carving out the eyelid. So just take your time. Make sure you have a really flat concealer brush for this because any other brush might just be too thick. You want to get that really crisp edge, especially in the crease. You can even move over to a smaller brush just for that outer kind of flick part because you don't want to mess this up. So maybe use something really, really small. Now I'm gonna set this immediately after applying with a shimmery kind of teal color, just so the concealer doesn't crease or transfer because I honestly did not want to ruin this look. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline the kind of cut part that I have with the silver glitter and I'm gonna use this teeny tiny little brush from Inglot. And what I like to do for my kind of glitter liner looks, I first outline where I want the glitter to go with my Duo Light Sweet Glue. And it is really, really good for sticking on glitters. Like I said in my last video, I just love Duo Glue for glitter. And then what I'm doing is I'm picking some of the glitter up with that tiny little brush and I'm stamping it on. You could use a bigger angled brush, but I feel like for this kind of intricate look, because 
it's kind of curving you know I feel like a smaller brush like this works a lot lot better than a bigger angled brush so I'm just repeating that on both eyes and make sure you take your bloody time with this because obviously you don't want to mess it up as well because you are using glue you want the lines to be nice and even so before I did the bottom of my eyes I just decided to throw on some lashes as well just to kind of add to the look now I wish I did a little bit of a liner on the lid just to blend the lashes in a little bit more but maybe next time but now I'm just taking that concealer and I'm placing that underneath the eye just so the eyeshadows on the bottom has something to stick to and I'm blending that in with the beauty blender yet again what else is new so I'm taking the darker teal color and I'm blending that straight down from the kind of flick and then I'm going to be blending that into the inner corner but I'm going to leave a gap from like the inner tear duct part because I'm going to be taking this matte white eyeshadow and it is basically a loose pigment and I'm going to be stamping that on into the inner corner just to really really open up the eyes and I just think it, think it did a really fantastic job at doing that. So then I'm just going to remove all that excess concealer because I'm going to be using a different concealer to apply underneath my eyes. And yeah, I just didn't want to go in with something as heavy as the concealer I used for my base. So I'm just wiping that all off. Now for my face, I'm using the All Covered Foundation in shade 14. It is a super, super full coverage foundation and a little of it goes a very, very long way. So I'm just kind of patting that in with the beauty sponge. Um, but you can use a brush. Don't use your fingers. Um, sponge or a brush will be a lot nicer. And then I just applied 96 on dry concealer under both eyes and I blended that in with the sponge as well. I didn't actually set the face. I just went in around my face with the 74 bronzer. And it's basically a shimmery bronzer. So it'll give a really, really nice subtle glow to the skin. And I did contour a little bit and then I'm applying a blusher from the JLo collection that is unfortunately discontinued so I'm not going to tell you the shade name because it's gone. And then I'm going to apply this really really beautiful kind of soft highlighter just on the tops of the cheeks for a bit of glow. And then on my lips I'm going to apply my special trio that I always like to put on. So it is 63 lip liner. Then it's going to be 17 lip tint. So it is a matte liquid lipstick, which I adore, but I do like a bit of gloss as well. So I apply this 91 lip gloss just on my lips as well for the finished look. And that is the finished look, guys. I really hope you liked the video. I didn't actually fill in my brows. I just thought I'm just going to leave them nice and bare. And hopefully you liked the video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.